so the surgery is uh, not over, but the doctor came out and he said the uh, life training is over and she's doing well. Uh, so they were able to remove uh, what they needed to do. The doctor said that she was doing good and uh, that her arm and uh, her right side was still gonna be a little uh, bad, but it will uh, eventually get better. Um, so thank God everything's well. Uh, so thank you. Uh, once she's done uh, completely, I'll give you another update and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so, but praise God. Praise, praise God. Praise, praise God. Thank you, God. I just have to say that the road is long, but this felt like we just ran a mile long in 10 seconds. And we went far, far, far away. So, God is good. I want to give a shout out to all the women who goes through all of this because it's not easy, it's not easy at all. The road is long, but it's possible, and God is good, and through prayer, everything's possible. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I couldn't do an update because Melissa um, was released from the surgery uh, really late. Uh, I guess we we're just trying to make sure that the anesthesia and everything just passed out properly. And and once she was sent to a room, uh, we went to see her, but she was a lot uh, in and out due to anesthesia. She had a lot of uh, dizziness, not dizziness, nausea, and uh, she was just a little out of it. And and at the beginning, she wasn't talking much, so it was a lot of fear that you know, what if uh, what if uh, they touch some part of the the vocal area. Uh, but after that, she started saying some words, and we were able to see. We were able to see that she was using her arm, so it was all good signs. Uh, the only uh, thing that was just a little scary, seeing her right at the start, because uh, she had a, a drain uh, pouch, uh, so it was just kind of a little scary. Um, and um, so a little scary, And uh, but yeah, besides that, it, just, it felt such a relief to see her back into the room and uh, see her just right in front of us. Uh, she was asking for eyes, and she started asking for she was asking for a few more things, like, you know, something to eat. So it was pretty good science because uh, uh, she needed to eat something before uh, continuing with the medication just so the anesthesia would not make her feel bad and the medication, the medication would be so uh, heavy on her stomach. The only one thing that she kept complaining was the pain. She was really in a lot of pain. Uh, from 10, she was a 10, and, um, and she was just in a lot of pain. It was really... Uh, hard to see her in pain but after a little while she was just loose enough and that felt good and it seemed that it helped her out so the pain started going down a little bit little and she finally got her pain meds and after that she just uh, slept. It was a little bit of a restless night because uh, um, she had to keep uh, being checked on uh, vitals and blood work uh, which when the blood work came at 2 in the morning I couldn't even see it because I was like I was done. I was uh, I was tired of seeing her being poked, and I was kind of like hurting from that. Uh, just felt like, uh, like man, she had to get poked again, and that really sucked. But uh, three in the morning, she woke up, telling me that she wanted a poppy. So that's good. So that's a good sign. Now she wants a little poppy, a little pop, poppy, like a little animal, little little doggy. And uh, so it was really funny and good. Uh, then the morning came, and doctors came, and they started asking questions. They did an assessment to her arms, and it looked like her arms started to already to gain strength, and that's pretty awesome because uh, they first say that that could be worse before getting better, but it's actually the opposite way. So thank God that. It and uh, we asked a few questions. Um, uh, she has screws, uh, but she has her original bone in place, so that's good. And she's gonna be gonna be checked uh, back and forth a little bit today last night she had a CT scan that we don't know the answer for it yet uh, today right now she's actually left to do an MRI again uh, just to verify the area that they did surgery on so I'll keep you guys updated uh, for anything else uh, hopefully I'll be able to um, help her out get a little bit of an update later today of her own 
uh, so she can finally start doing her regular routines of doing what she loves, um, checking up on people, making sure that if anybody needs encouragement, she can help them out or things like that. She really enjoys doing things like that every day or letting me know about, you know, her friends and people she and their updates on, you know, this type of struggle. And the struggle is real. This is, uh, this is real. It's no joke. Um, so, like I said yesterday, press on everybody who's going through this. And uh, it's just amazing how women are. So you guys are awesome. Uh, I hope you guys excuse my uh, lack of uh, self, but I'm still laying down waiting for my wife in this uncomfortable couch. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be a few nights with this couch. So I guess I'm going to have to start breaking it or break my back, one or the other. Um, uh, the type of person to do uh, blocks and and video recording and putting myself out there so it's kind of funny to do this so um, just doing that because I know um, she wanted you guys to be aware of what was going on so thank you guys for everybody thank you